Thanks for swinging by the channel, taking the time to uh, check out my latest review. Uh, this episode here, uh, I'm going to feature one from the Platform Beer Company out of the uh, Cleveland, Ohio area. Uh, right here in the great state of Ohio. And this is uh, Cleveland, north of where I am at in Ohio. Well, north of where I'm at in Ohio, put it that way. And this is part of their Martian series. And this is the Red Martian. So this came out uh, in late March is when this was canned. So we're April, May, about two and a half months old at the time of this recording. So uh, I actually picked this up before I kind of put the channel on hiatus um, for a little bit. Now I'm just kind of getting back into uh, the reviews a little bit here, a little bit there. So this was this is a lot older. Um, then you know then i was planning on uh reviewing it uh so i'm gonna do this here and then i actually have a red martian from last year so this is last year's i, th I think this was when did this come out uh was it late last year i can't remember when this one was released but anyway i found this in the refrigerator in the back and i thought you know what i'm gonna review this then I might crack this thing open and just see how well it held up compared to a, uh, a fresher one, right? So this is a over-fruited, slushy-style sour ale with notes of fruit punch, vanilla, and tart. And it is coming in at uh, 8 IBU and 5.6% on the ABV. So... I like the Martian series. The Blue Martian is probably my favorite, and then followed by the uh, Red Martian uh, here. Um, and this isn't a big slushy, thick style of slushy sour, um, but it is uh, more of, um, you know, one that came out, I think they started making these a few years ago, uh, before, you know, all the, the crazy infused uh, slushy beers that we have available now. So I'm gonna crack this thing open. And, um, and I dig the artwork, I like the, you know, like the Martian head with kind of the, you know, slushy uh, brain up there. Kind of cool. So this is a 16 ounce can and it is a very cold, which you should drink these cold. And let's get a pour on this thing here. Maybe we'll produce some type of a head up on top of this. It won't stick around too long. Uh, a little bit more than what I thought I was gonna get on that head there. About a finger and a half to Close to two fingers there. Well carbonated. Uh, just a, a ruby uh, color to this. Yeah, I would say that's kind of a ruby ruby color there to it. Uh, I was thinking it'd be a little bit uh, more on the actual red uh, as far as color presentation, but, um, and I can't remember, I was thinking maybe those were really red, but uh, interesting here. So this is the Red Martian, and this is last year's Red Martian. And they are both, like I said, slushy style sours. So you get a bit of that kettle sour aroma to this. Also get some of the fruit punch. You know, it's definitely fruit punch. Bunch of red berries type of stuff. I don't know. Just going to say a, a generic fruit punch aroma. But you do get that nice kettle sour uh, aroma coming off of this. Well, just a nice souriness to it. Hmm. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty nice. So, you definitely get the sourness on the back end. Body. Light, lighter body, 5.6, very uh, thinner drinking, uh, sour style L. So I don't know if there's really one fruit jumping out at me. It's kind of just a concoction of different berries, strawberries, um, you know, those types of I don't want to say it's like Hawaiian punch, fruit punch, or anything like that, but 
It's very much got that type of vibe to it on a very minor level. Still tastes like beer. It's not one of the sours that you drink and you're like, oh, this doesn't even taste like beer. This definitely still tastes like beer. Uh, it is 5.6%. Uh, and it is very good. As far as scoring this, uh, I really like the a couple of them from the Martian series, the, the blue one, uh, the red one. Uh, they're both very good. Uh, I have no problem giving this about a 4.35 out of 5. Very solid, easy drinking. Doesn't do anything too crazy. Uh, they do label it slushy sour, but this is not really what I would consider a modern day 2022 slushy style uh, beer. Um, so I kind of dismissed that slushy. It's just a very good sour beer, sour beer, sour L, whatever. And um, very much uh, reminiscent of a, of a kettle sour style beer. So that's that. Now let me bust out last year's. And it's 5.6%, um, 16 ounce can, 8 IBU. Uh, and this actually, last year they listed all the adjuncts, and I'm assuming it's the same recipe. But the adjuncts were uh, the grains were Pilsner, Pell Wheat, um, da, 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 blah, blah, blah. There's a bunch of them on there. Uh, adjuncts. Ooh, it says adjuncts pineapple, raspberry, orange, and vanilla. Hmm. So let me get another drink, see if I can pick out any of that. Yeah, is there pineapple in it? It's a fruit punch. Yeah, maybe I can pick up pineapple in there. Um, uh, oh, the vanilla in here, it does say vanilla. And I would say the vanilla is more of like this sweet, sweet type of background vanilla type of flavor in there. It's not overpowering or anything like that. Probably really couldn't pick out uh, the vanilla too much in it. But uh, I will give this a pour. Kind of see uh, what last year's looked like compared to this year. The exact same color, you know. This is a little older. Uh, it's, it's also a more narrow glass that I'm looking through here at the bottom. So it does come across. This is a more of a, a murky color where this has got a bit more clarity to it, just a haziness. Definitely has a much wider head up on top of this. Actually, you know what? For several months old, I don't know if this is a good year old. I can't remember if they released this more than one time per year. Because uh, it doesn't really... It looks like it says like an eight or nine on there. So maybe this isn't a year old. But hey, anyhow, it's definitely old. So I'm going to get a drink on this thing. Ooh, before I got that drink, though, that nose... Yeah, this, this smells like a very um, flat version of this, which again, it's several months old. So let's just taste this. Yeah, not good. Um, definitely flat, uh, not much left into it flavor-wise. This has much more life in it. And this is only a few months old, like I said. So anyway, this was just kind of a bonus thing because I found it in the refrigerator as I was kind of clearing out. I found it a while back and I was like, oh, you know what? I might do some type of crazy comparison. Older version, newer version. Just for the fun of it since I had it and what the heck. I'm um, just now getting back to the swing of the channel. I thought I'd add a little bit of a, I don't know, something a little bit different to the review. Anyhow, I uh, hope you like what you're seeing here. If you're not a subscriber already, please become one. I can always use those subs. Drop a comment. Give the video a thumbs up. Like always, I appreciate every one of you out there. Thanks for watching.